The concept of death in video games has always interested me as a game developer. Now, if you aren't a game developer, you're probably thinking like, oh, what, are, what, are, what is the guy talking about? But the thing about Roblox in specific that I wanted to cover in this video is that Roblox actually does prioritize death as a gameplay element. It's insanely easy to just, oh, that was loud. It's insanely easy to just kill a rig. What a lot of games would do when, you know, Roblox would first start out, when it was first getting popular, we had so much like, you know, obbies, um, I don't even like, like tycoons and everything that included this thing called a kill brick. Okay, kill bricks were like an essential part of old Roblox studio, right? And basically the idea of a kill brick is that it's like when something touches it, so in this case, let's say hit is the thing that will touch the kill brick. You just check if hits um, dot parent has a humanoid, meaning that the hit dot parent is an actual character. Then you just say hit dot parent dot humanoid, and then you set their health equal to zero. And then so what that ends up doing is that now whenever I touch the part, I end up dying. This I would say is the first documented type of death in Roblox history, okay? What is it used for? What's the meaning of it? Well, let's think of this example in like an actual obby setting, right? So like, let's say like I'm in an obby, right? And I'm like, I have obstacles, right? So I got to jump over this part, right? And there we go. I, I'm pretty sure I touched that, but it's fine. Roblox decided to give me a second chance. In this case, death acts as a punishment, okay? I've already gotten this far. My checkpoint is like, uh, <laughs> my checkpoint is way over there, okay? There it is. And I'm already here. And then this one brick, even though I've already made so much progress, this one brick will reset all of it. I would say this is the very first type of death and purpose in Roblox. But now you might be sitting here thinking like, well, duh, like, what are you talking about? Like, obviously, yeah, you die and then you get sent back and that sucks. Like, obviously, that's the point of dying in a game. Well, now we need to talk about the second type that death has been used and this time as a gameplay element, okay? A couple of years after, you know, Roblox fully blew up and you know, stuff like obbies, tycoons, simulators were, you know, getting popular and beginning to die out. That's when people realize like, okay, everyone is tired of this kill brick. Everyone is tired of like, oh yeah, we have this thing. Um, and then, you know, it's always like some red bar and it's like neon or something. And then when you step on it, you die. Wow, that's that's really fun gameplay, guys. Are you having fun? What's funny is that at this point, a lot of developers stopped using like the built-in death system to actually punish their character. And we know this for a fact because, okay, let's say, you know, instead of setting the humanoid's health to zero, right? What these people would do is they would take the hit dot parent, which, you know, is the character. They would take their humanoid root part and they would position that humanoid root part to let's say their spawn location okay and so now if i were to spawn in and step on this part do you know what would happen i don't die i just get sent back to the spawn location so this basically locks in the idea that at first death is mainly used as just a punishment as a way to basically send you back right and to reset all of your progress this is the first and the ultimate point of death in early roblox games right but it's like like i said now people are not using death for this anymore right i mean obviously some games still do i'm not saying they don't right but most games have turned to the system where instead of actually killing the character, it just sends you back to the spawn location. So then what's the new purpose of death? The next big one that I saw a lot of games do, right? And this, this was like a couple years ago, so this isn't even modern, is using death as more of a gameplay element. So there's a game, uh, it, it's not a Roblox game, but there's a game called Outer Wilds, which I've been playing recently, and it's actually really fun. So do play it if you have like 20 bucks to spare. And without spoiling much, the game effectively relies on death. It relies on you dying, okay? Uh, the game has a lot of timed events, the game has a lot of systems that happen based on time and not based on you. And there are certain areas that after a certain period of time just become unavailable and restricted. And the only way for you to actually get back into those areas is to die and then loop back in time and then get to those areas. The entirety of the game relies on you consistently dying and learning something new with each death. And if that sounds familiar, well, that's actually exactly what Doors did, I would argue, right? The whole point of Doors is that you have no idea what's going on. If I walk into a dark room and I hear that like pss, you know I don't know what to do like as a new player it's like what I might look around and I might catch the the guy on accident right but it's like I will only truly really learn what's going on after I die 
Same thing with Rush, right? It's like I walk in a room and the lights flicker, right? How do I know to get in a closet? Like, let's be real, okay? You walk in the room, lights flicker, okay, whatever. Let's keep going. And then you hear like, Argh! And the thing is, this isn't like an accidental thing, right? Doors absolutely knows that this is the intended way to play the game. Every time you die to something, right? Some like splash text appears, basically like telling you what you did wrong and how to survive the next time. I'm pretty sure even on like their um, description and the game description, it literally says like, use each death as a lesson. So they absolutely knew what the purpose of death was to their game. And so, okay, let's say I play a game, right? And the entire game game is about trying to find a piece of cash, okay? And okay, I'm looking around, and oh, there's the cash! Look at it, it's highlighted, but the issue here is that I can't get the cash anymore. Yeah, so right now, it's literally impossible for me to get the cash, right? But the thing is, we saw the parts go down, and we know that the cash is inside of this part. I can't get it now, but we have the knowledge that, oh, this part was moving down, which means that there is a point where we actually were able to get to the cache. And like, I don't have a dev system here, but like, this is where a game would let you die, okay? So let, let's assume I, I just died right now, right? And then it would send you back in time, or you know, they would like send you back to the beginning or whatever. And now you have the information, you know where to look, and you know to be quick. And maybe I made this a little too slow. And we got the cache, we got it, it's gone. There we go. And just like that, we've successfully won the game by using information thanks to our death. Also, I just quickly want to say that um, this isn't a sponsor or anything, by the way, right? I just, like, I ordered my uh, character to be 3D printed on this. It's like i3D maker on Instagram or something. It's taken a while. It's been two weeks, right? They're saying, like, it's, <laughs> it's like, stuck in customs or something. But I just want to say that, like, I left the link to the post in the pinned comment because basically they, like, you know, posted my character, like, oh, you know, we have these characters, you know, for, like, advertisement. And I think it'd be funny if all of us comments, uh, comment ByteBlocks W underneath the post and just like it, you know, give them some free promo. So if you could do that, that that'd be great. And so now you might be thinking, wouldn't that be everything? Like, okay, the first death is meant to, you know, be like a punishment, which makes sense. Then the second purpose would be to integrate it into gameplay and like not make it a punishment. So one's a punishment and the other isn't. And so you might be thinking right now, well, there we go. Those are the two purposes of death. However, I disagree, and I think that there is a third purpose. This one does tie into the first one, and you know, the moment I say it, you might be thinking like, oh, isn't that literally just what the first purpose is? But basically, the third and final, in my opinion, purpose of death in Roblox games is to act as a small setback in a team setting. So let me show you a quick example, okay? Let's say I make two teams, okay? So we have team, uh, let's say red, and then we have, let's say team blue. And so a line that I'll add into the code is that whenever the player actually dies, it's gonna broadcast that their team has lost one point. And so then let's see, I'm on team red, so if I step on the red brick, ironically, red has lost one point. It prints it 31 times because all of my parts started touching the part and, you know, running the code. But you see how that works, right? This third purpose basically relies on, like I said, a team setting. The first purpose is all about you. It's all about acting as the ultimate punishment to your progress. But this third purpose is meant to be more of like a, let's say, death by 1000 cuts situation. In case you don't know what that is, the term death by 1000 cuts basically means that like, you don't die from like a, you know, sudden slash or like a big mistake or whatever. Like I would argue the first purpose does, right? The first purpose is all about just setting you back completely. But this one, you know, the 1000 cuts, it's meant to be a bunch of little tiny things that build up eventually to then cause your downfall. And so in a team setting, this is exactly what happens. The purpose of death in a team setting is to get rid of like a small part of the enemy team to then give yourself and your teammates an advantage. So this purpose of death isn't necessarily about being like a big setback or a, a big like loss of progress. It's all about acting as a punishment to the person who died and their team and increases your chances of actually winning against the team who just lost a member. So you can hopefully see how the idea of like losing actual progress and just losing some chance is a different type of purpose. And you know, obviously, like different games will have different styles of death. I'm not saying that these are the ultimate purposes. I'm sure there's like some very, very niche games that have like a different use of death than what I just said. And I'm also sure that some of you might disagree with my statements, right? Some of you might say, oh no, there's only one purpose of death and it's just to cause an issue, right? So, you know, I do want to hear your thoughts. So, you know, do leave a comment. But honestly, the moment that this video goes live, I do want more people to start like being creative with deaths in the Roblox game. So I'm not even saying you have to do some like outer wilds type stuff for like 
oh yeah, you know, you die and then you get sent back in time and then you have to learn like you have to use what you learned or whatever but what i'm saying is just don't make another boring kill break okay this is this is already long gone and i will also say that if you are a beginner roblox developer or there's someone looking to develop right and you're someone who you know has tried like looking at you know youtube tutorials and you know maybe you've been trying to script for a while but like nothing just seems to be clicking i do have a free preview of my paid course which you can find in the link in the description like there's no strings attached it's just legit like a free preview i'm not gonna ask you for like your credit card information or something it has 100 students it has like really good reviews a lot of people do like it so if that sounds interesting then you know click on the link in the description preview the course and you can decide if you want to buy or not from there and yeah so i hope that with this video i have changed your entire perspective on life <laughs> and roblox and death and everything which you know is pretty cool right i feel like if a video does that to you that's a that's a pretty nice thing you know how like youtube sometimes asks you like oh was this video life-changing or something right if youtube asks you that bro uh say it was life-changing it was uh, meaningful it was amazing beautiful um uh, I, don't, I don't know like whatever other amazing options that youtube gives you just check all of them and as always we are back to basics Thank you for watching.